So did you have to wake up early today to catch a flight out here? Uh, I actually woke up at 4.30 this morning. Uh, my flight left at 6.30. Nice. We just talked to Dre Greenlaw, and he said that he was so excited that he got to the airport like three and a half hours early. <laughs> so the airport back home, really not, not too many people be there, so it was kind of like smooth. <laughs> Where did you fly? Uh, Greenville, Spawnberry Airport, and then I flew in Atlanta, and then I came straight here. And what have you done since you've been here? Uh, paperwork and <laughs> medical stuff. Did you realize at the time that you'd made such a good impression with the 49ers in Mobile? Uh, yes, sir. Um, me and Coach Shanahan and um, John Lynch uh, con connected well there. Um, I kind of had a feeling like if, if I was there around this time that they'll probably be calling my phone. Did they say that to you or just your uh, sense? It's just kind of a feeling that I had. Well, why do you think you guys connected both you know, off the field with the personalities and on the field with what you bring to the table? Uh, on the field wise, I mean, uh, every team loves playmakers, and I go out there and I, I just give them all every time I'm out there. And um, even off the field, like I'm still the same person. I'm small, smiling, laughing around, and an easy guy to get along with. What, what kind of expectations did you have when you walk in this building for the first time today? Even though you've visited before, but what's what's like now that you're officially on uh, I was just like, hey, I'm I'm officially a San Francisco 49. Um, it was just a blessing to be here and just walking here, be a part of the team. Do you expect to do? For them this year, what you did for them at, at the Senior Bowl, play that position and uh, you know that that Z spot. That I kind of expect to do anything that they ask me to do. So you just throw me out there anywhere, and I'm just make the best out of every opportunity. Is, is, was that your role at South Carolina? Was it sort of uh, somebody who could do a lot of different things. On yes, their own? sir. So at South Carolina, I played um, almost every position except for quarterback. <laughs> they, they say that you, know, you have a uh, running back spot. <laughs> You've met probably Jalen Hurd. Yes, sir. We played back. against him when, when he was at Tennessee. Okay. He doesn't exactly have a running back spot. Like uh, he's just real physical and, and tough and fast. Uh, are you guys similar in that way, you think? Uh, yes, sir, because he, he played running back and then he ended up playing receiver. That's just so the versatility that he has. There's been some disagreement among you know draft experts and, and gurus about who you're like in the NFL. I mean, uh, is there anybody who's who's been playing that you would sort of liken your game to? Uh, Anquan Bolden and um, Golden Tate, I would say I mark my game out there. Those, those are two very physical guys. Yes, sir. Especially Bolden. I mean, is, they're great. Is that the... They're kind of great after the catch, know how to get separation and beat man coverage. You've got that extra explosive off that. Yes, sir. So, I mean, where did that come from and how do you have uh, it's kind of just my, been my been my mentality since I play. And, um, my father always told me like uh, every time you get the ball, you're trying to put the ball in the end zone. So that's kind of been my mindset every time I touch it. You scored a lot of touchdowns. <laughs> was there one in particular that you liked the most? Whether not uh, catching the ball. Or? Uh, I say kickoff return because it's just the team boost. Um, get the defense fired up because you know they're gonna go out there next. And then if they fired up and get a stop, we go out there and score again. And then it's just energy all over the place. Mm -hmm. right. You've also been known for your yards after. Can you talk about what it is that is in you that helps you do that? Uh, it's just the mentality I get when I get the ball in my hands. Like I like I was growing up, I was taught that way. My father always said, um, get the ball in the box every time you touch the ball. So every time I get it, I'm really trying to put it in the end zone. There aren't too many starting receivers who <laughs> contribute in the kicking game. Would you kind of lobby the coaches to try to put you back there? Oh uh, Yes, sir. Because um, these past three years at, at South Carolina, I played on all special teams except for kickoff. So like special teams is a thing that I like to do.